Hi everyone, my name is Patty Plant and thank you for joining me for Grow Live. Grow Live is on every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, that's 3 p.m. Eastern and high noon in Pacific. So thanks for joining me. Uh, today we're going to talk about growing sprouts. So you might be saying, well, what are sprouts? And basically, they're just, these are some speckled peas. They are just seeds that have started to grow and you consume all parts of it. It's very efficient, it's very good for you. And the best part about it is you don't have to have any special equipment. You may have heard of sprouts, you may have heard of microgreens. So I wanted to talk just a little bit about the difference between sprouts and microgreens. So here we have a sprout. All right, so you see there's the seed, it's a speckled pea. You see the green part that's growing out of the seed, which is the shoot part or the part of the plant that would normally be above ground. And then you see a very, very long root. So with sprouts, you consume the entire seed, seedling and root. With microgreens, you basically would let them grow a little bit taller and normally microgreens are grown with some, some grow, grow lights so that the, the shoot will become a little bit longer. And the shoot is severed above the seed, the seed and the root is discarded, and then you consume the, the microgreen or the, the shoot part of the plant. So you might be thinking, well, <laughs> I don't know, what's, what's all this about? And I mean, where I live, it's unfortunately still winter, although I did see a huge flock of robins back hanging out in an apple tree eating fermented apples yesterday and that's about all they had to eat for us especially when we are home more than we might normally be it's nice to have something that will supplement your diet and keep healthy food on your table for all the the loved ones that are living with you so growing sprouts is not difficult um, I get most of my sprouts from mums sprouting seeds so this is a small family business that's located in Parkside, Saskatchewan. Uh, they import and export seeds from all over the world. They have a beautiful facility that uh, I've toured a number of times. And they are passionate about uh, supplying sprouts and helping people to grow healthy food without any huge amount of inputs. Now, just out of, of curiosity, this is a, a little packet of alfalfa sprouts. Um, it is uh, 125 grams. And this tiny little package of alfalfa sprouts will produce 30 cups of sprouts. A few dollars and you've got a lot of great nutrition. And, and I mean, sprouts can be consumed by themselves. They're, they're fun as a tasty treat, great in salads, fantastic on sandwiches, and the different types of sprouts is endless. So I encourage you to, you know, to try it out anyway. So I showed you I've got some speckled peas. So these were sprouted about a week ago, and once they've uh, gotten to the stage where I like them, and I, I like a little bit of green, I like to see a little bit of, um, you know, that shoot tissue that uh, is nice to eat. The, the seed itself is nice and crunchy. And uh, these I've had in the fridge for a few days. I simply, on the bottom of the container, put a little piece of paper towel um, that's damp, or if you're rinsing your sprouts and putting them in the fridge, then of course that will dampen the paper towel. And they'll last in your fridge for about a week. So that's kind of kind of cool. These are alfalfa sprouts. And I mean, they kind of were the only sprouts that we used to see a lot of um, years ago, but now the, the variety is endless. One of my favorite sprouts is China Rose Radish. So I don't know if you can see, but they look like little tiny radish plants and they're, they're pink in color, the China Rose. Eating these uh, radish uh, sprouts tastes like you're eating little miniature radishes, which is, is cool anytime. So that's, that's pretty neat. Um, there's lots of different ways you can grow them. The simplest way to grow your sprouts is simply a mason jar. So mason jars are 
what <laughs> usually we have in our houses. If not, you can buy a lot of products that are sold in mason jars, jams, and other, and other things, pickles sometimes. And then you can save the jar and reuse it, which of course is um, a, a good idea anyway. So this mason jar has a brassica blend of seeds in. I like the mason jar idea of growing because even though you don't have supplemental or grow lights on with the sprouts, you can see that there's some little white specks that's, that's happening. And that's because um, this, the seeds are actually germinating. So uh, we talked about uh, the last couple of weeks on Grow Live about what it takes for a seed to germinate and the magical thing that begins that germination is actually water. So when you're growing your sprouts, you take your sprouts, put them in a glass, uh, and all you need is a tablespoon or two, depending on the size of your jar. In this mason, it's a quart mason jar, there is one tablespoon of, of the brassica blend of seeds. That's all it takes. You let it soak for a couple hours, and on each package, of course, just like a seed packet, there is directions on the back on, on how to grow them why it's important to uh, soak those seeds for a short period of time, two to six hours is kind of general, a couple hours, it will actually allow those seeds to take up the water and begin that magical germination process. If you don't soak the seeds and just put them in the jar and rinse them and do the, the other things that we'll talk about in a minute, you run the risk of not getting good germination. So if you're buying from a reputable sprout house which mums is they spend a lot of time looking to make sure that their germination rate is very good and uh, you as a consumer don't have to worry about all those things so soaking those seeds for a couple hours before you get growing is a very good idea because you get good germination and simply after that eh, a couple of times a day Fill your jar up with water, and I usually have these beside my sink. I like to uh, drain them out so, uh, and then leave them at a bit of an angle so no excess water is left in the jar. So soak them a couple hours and then twice a day, put uh, about halfway filled of, of water in the jar and then simply count the jar and dump it out. And then again, I like to leave them at a little bit of an angle on a drip tray and that way uh, you're ensured that there isn't a lot of water left in, in the jar that will perhaps um, provide too much moisture and then you'll start to get some fermentation or rot and then your sprouts don't you know, last very long. Um, there's other different things you can do. This is a little grow tray, comes in a tier and I kind of like this idea too uh, because it sits just by my sink the trays themselves have holes in them. You can see there's a little bit of water dripping out and they stack up, you know, as many high as you like. Um, and, and it's kind of a nice way to save a little bit of space because my mason jars are always laying down on the counter and it takes up a little bit more room. And especially if there's more people in your home than there normally is, uh, sometimes that space is at a premium. So like I said earlier, there's a lot of different types of sprouts you can grow. Um, just as an example, this is fenugreek. So fenugreek is a seed that comes from the Middle East. It has a, a very unique flavor. I'll hold some up and see if you can see them. They're, they're quite neat looking. They have a unique flavor. What fenugreek is, is really good for is this time of year when there's a lot of colds going around and <laughs> other bugs we aren't going to talk about today. Um, it, it helps boost that immune system to help fight off colds and, and different things that um, you, you, know, you might be exposed to. So, you know, it's, it's kind of fun um, to have some variety. The cost is minimal, so it's an economical way to supplement your diet. And, you know, uh, this little seed pack here, this one is uh, 250 grams, so it's twice the size of the 125 gram. I've had these for literally years. And, you know, during the growing season, I grow less sprouts, but during the, the winter and the shoulder seasons, it's nice to um, have food that's available right at your fingertips. You don't have to go out, you don't need any special equipment. You go down to the pantry, get out a, a mason jar and, and have at her. 
So one of the things I, I didn't mention is the top of the mason jar, I've just got the ring without the, the cover on. And what I've put is just a little bit of screening on top. Now, if you don't have screening, uh, I mean, I like it the best because it is easy to wash. And when you're growing anything, um, you know, from seed, cleanliness is important. So your jars or whatever your containers are that you're using to uh, sprout your seeds should be nice and clean. Wash them with hot soapy water, put them through the dishwasher, that kind of thing, and make sure that um, they are nice and clean before you get started. We're lucky here because we have clean water that is readily available. Some places in the world don't. So, you know, I guess that's one more thing we should be thankful for. And uh, I mean, basically twice a day, fill the jar with cool, not cold or not hot water, because of course you're, you're talking about little babies that you're starting here. So uh, nice cool water that uh, you fill the jar halfway full, swish it around and then simply drain it out and then leave it at a bit of an angle so that uh, you haven't got excess water sitting in there. Uh, this jar here actually is kind of cool. It's actually a quinoa from Bolivia. And uh, when I got this seed, because I, you know, I love going and, and hanging out with all the folks at, at Mums, and when I got this seed, it was actually on a trial basis. So new seeds that aren't tried and true, they will, they will grow for longer to make sure that the germination is where it needs to be, so you as the consumer don't have any problems when you're growing your sprouts. So, sprouts are easy to grow, they supplement your diet, they're economical. Um, I have a few different types of sprouts, of course, and, and you know, depending on what you're cooking, depending on what you're preparing, um, lots of variety there. If you're getting tired of the, the same old that uh, you might have been uh, growing and, and preparing and eating for the last little while. So uh, the other day I also put up a YouTube channel. So there's uh, the first video I put up welcoming you to my YouTube channel, which is called Grow. Uh, is a little bit more about sprouting seeds so if um, you know you want a little bit more information and can see it in action at my kitchen sink then uh, you know you're certainly welcome to go to, to my channel grow and and have a look at that other than that uh, folks I, I do thank you for joining me uh, I love sharing knowledge and you know in these times when we have a little bit more time on our hands it's great to be able to to grow things and uh, keep ourselves busy, keep our children interested, um, and thank you for joining me. I, I do uh, enjoy sharing knowledge with you. I'll leave this up on the Facebook page for a few days, and then you can always find uh, another video on the YouTube channel, Grow as well. So thank you for joining me. I'm Patty Plant, and I will be on Grow Live every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I I um, hope that you can join me. The benefit of joining me live is you can ask questions that can be answered in real time. Otherwise, yeah, you just get the video. So folks, thank you for joining me. Uh, be safe, be happy, and let's get growing. Thanks for joining. See you next week. Bye now. <laughs>